what what is it that you missed the most from before? Uh, my family. Your family. Mm. Real friends. <laughs> yeah. If you had one message for your family, what would that one message be? I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, Tina, right? Yeah. Tina, thank you so much for talking to us. First of all, how old are you? Forty. Forty. And how long have you been homeless for? Four years. Four years. Okay. Um, how did you end up becoming homeless, Tina? Violent relationship. Ah, uh, okay. So you were living with your partner, he got abusive and then you left. I lost my kids, I lost my home. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. How many kids? I had to give birth to my dead son and I lost my daughter too. Oh, uh, sorry man. Sorry, and then, uh, you, so you left your, your partner. What area was that in? in? Well, he, hasn't, he doesn't leave me alone. He's still following me about ages why I Ah, okay. So has he found you a few times? Beat me up and put me in hospital. Ah, uh, crazy. How long were you guys together for? Uh, eight years. Eight years, okay. And then um, you left the place where you were staying. Is he still staying at that same place? No. He left there as well. How was your life like before you became homeless? Uh, Do you know what? I used to moan, but now I wish I didn't. Oh, uh, you missed what you had, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so sorry. So it was sorry. you learned don't take nothing for granted, man. And um, did, you know when he became abusive, did you leave straight away or did you hang around for a bit? What happened? I like? tried giving him chances after chances. Didn't work out even then. And um, were you working before? No. No? I have mental health issues. Ah, okay, cool. And where are you, where's your family? Like your siblings, parents? Portsmouth. Ah, okay. Do they know your situation? Yes. Have they tried to help you? No. no? Okay, what's the reason they haven't come through? Like, uh, let's just say my ex is kind of twisted things on my mum and uh, kind of like brainwashed them. Yeah, ha has is there has there been anyone that's helped you while you've been on the streets? Uh, well, yeah, I've got a key worker, and there's certain people that, that okay. Help. What have the key workers done for you? Hardly anything, <laughs> no way, they haven't been able to find your place to stay. Not really, not really. And you told us earlier that you're trying to raise money for the hostel. How much is the hostel around here? 15. 15, yeah? Okay. And how, how often would you say you get to stay in the hostel in a week? Like how many days? If I'm lucky, twice. Twice a week, yeah? And you get to clean, shower and stuff. Okay. Have you made any friends while on the street? <laughs> They're not your friends. They're not your friends. Acquaintances? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, you know when you became homeless, do you remember that first day that you became homeless? Like where you realise, oh sugar, I'm like on the streets and I'm homeless. Did, do you remember that day? Not really. No? It's the days. Wait, do you remember where you slept that day, that night? Back in A&E. Okay. Got heaters there as well. Oh. And um, now you've been homeless for four years. What do you find to be the toughest thing about being homeless? The way people are with me. Say that again? The way members of the public are. Yeah, how are they towards you? Some of them just stand there and laugh at me. No way. It could be rude. Okay. Ignorant. <laughs> mm. They don't understand the situation that you're going through. No. What's the nicest thing someone has done for you since you've been homeless? Uh, they bought me loads of clothes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and you know, uh, where do you currently sleep? currently sleep? Is it around here? Yeah. Yeah. And is it what, out in the open or in, inside a building? It's outside. Outside. Do you have a sleeping bag? No, just this is it. Now, obviously, as you know, winter's approaching really fast. What, what's your plan or how are you going to survive that? I don't know. No. Why have the outreach teams, the key workers, not been able to get you a place? I don't know. I don't. No? If I knew that, I wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah. And you told us earlier that you you know you missed what you had before, and you know if you had known better, you would have like um, held on to it longer. What what is it that you missed the most from before? Uh, my family. Your family. Mm. Real friends. <laughs> yeah. If you had one message for your family, what would that one message be? I'm sorry. Oh. Uh, 
Oh look man, uh, I'm so sorry to hear this, but I really pray that they come to and they, they realize that you know, you're a better person and you're trying to improve yourself. So I really hope you get back with your family and they help you out because that's what family is, isn't it? They're supposed to be there for you. And even, I'm sure you probably made some mistakes as well, but even then, blood, isn't it? Um, now, you've, you've been homeless for four years and you said you're sleeping locally. You said that the toughest thing you find is the people walking past you. How have other homeless people been towards you? To be honest, if I don't give them what they want, I get bullied. Oh, they bully you? <laughs> like the man at Little's is done nothing but sits there and he stares at me. Ah. <laughs> And you literally got no one that can help you. Trust anyone. That's heartbreaking, Tina. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> All I've got is these people. Yeah. And I'm sorry that, you know, chatting to us is making you so emotional and you're crying. It's really breaking my heart. What is it that's making you so emotional? I don't know. Huh? Talking about things. Yeah. It's not many people stop and speak. Yeah. Is there, has there been any days where you didn't even get to speak to anyone? There's been then days like that? What about your friends? Did, did they not come help you? Because you seem like a really bubbly type of person. Friends, but no, but some of them are drug users. No, your friends from They're before though? From, from my hometown, yes. But do, do they know you're homeless? They do, yeah. They haven't even come to help you? I don't expect them to come all the way up here to help me. <laughs> I'm not recovering up my you're covering an alcoholic, yeah? Okay. Um, has that... What part has that played in you becoming homeless and staying homeless? Nothing. Yeah, yeah? Okay, that's good. Um, what makes you happy? Music. Music, yeah? Okay. And what would you say makes you sad? Um, how people are. Just, just yeah? And what is it about people that makes you sad? Like, well, how are they? How they can be so rude and nasty. Mm. They don't know me. Yeah, they don't know what you've been through. They're adding to my suffering. And, so, so, and say they knew your story, how do you think their perception would change? How would they, do you think they would change it, behave in a different way? I don't know. You don't know. What's been the meanest thing that someone has done to you since you've been homeless? Threw food at me. Say that again? Threw food at me. Oh, <laughs> madness. So just walking past you and chucking food at you? Telling me to get a job. <laughs> has there been anyone that has actually bought you food? Yeah. Yeah? There's nice people out there. Is there some regular people that you see like quite? Yeah. yeah? That's what I'm waiting for. Okay. And um, if you could go back, what's the one thing you would change? <laughs> Not me, not me in that boat, just keeping on with my kids. Oh. <laughs> okay, go. And, and being homeless, what's the one lesson that you've learned? Um, don't take life for granted. Mm. So, yeah, I might not have much, but some people are more than others. Yeah. What's the one thing you're the most grateful for right now? My health. Your health? Okay, brilliant. And that's just coming to the end, if you could get one wish, Tina, what would your one wish be? Um, for this all to be over, have my kid back in my life. Mm. So sorry, Tina. Well, look, um, I apologize for making you cry, but what could we do to put a smile on your face? What's the one thing we could do right now to put a smile on your face? Now, nah, come on, you got to give us something. What could we do for you to help you out? <coughs> Nothing. <coughs> you know, if you had one message, for humanity, for everyone that's going to watch the video. What's your one message to everyone? Uh, enjoy what you've got in your life, because life's too short, man. Mm. Powerful. Powerful. Well, you know, uh, I told you earlier that 
uh, what we're doing for the homeless people is when we interview them, we give them these gift cards for Sainsbury's where you, it's got £30 on it, so you can buy anything for up to £30 in Sainsbury's. And you can use it multiple times, it doesn't have to be in one go. And then we help them out with some clothes, socks and you know, underwear and stuff like that. Now the reason we can do this is because people donate money to, to us and with that money we help the homeless. What would your message be to the people that donate money for the homeless? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and There's not many people that you know, yeah. think of us. Brilliant. Well, um, just give me one second. It, this is... Um, this is for you. Okay, it's a Sainsbury's gift card. It's got Thank 30 pounds on there, okay? Thank you. So you can buy anything for up to 30 pounds from Sainsbury's. Thank uh, you. Yeah, and you can go to any Sainsbury's in, in London, yeah? And you can use that. And uh, do you need any socks? Yes, you do? Okay, that's fine. Okay, we're going to give you that now off camera, yeah? But thank you so much for your time. And I honestly, genuinely, sincerely pray that your situation improves. And uh, the amount of tears you cried today, I hope you get even more smiles than that. And you have a happy life, the rest of it. Thank you. Yeah, God bless you.